Before you roll up your sleeves and wind your way into the heart of this topic, let me ask you a question. Are Swiss watches still the majestic marvels they once were, or have they lost their tick-tocking touch? <laughs> you know, just like a fine timepiece, this question has been ticking away in the minds of watch aficionados and novices alike. We've all heard the tales of legendary Swiss craftsmanship and precision, but are those stories still true in today's fast-paced, digital-driven world? Brace yourselves as we unravel the mysteries behind the art history, the mechanics and the allure of Swiss watches. Buckle up your watch straps and set your chronographs, because this is going to be a ride for you that you don't want to miss. Get ready to tickle your horological curiosity and tick-tock your way through the enchanting world of Swiss watches. Let's celebrate the timeless artistry and revel in the wonders of horology while having a blast on this sparkling adventure. Welcome to another episode of The Steady Ticker. Do you have a soft spot for watches? Subscribe now to The Steady Ticker and click the notification bell to keep posted on the latest news on different luxury watch brands and its industry. We create content on trivias, intricacies, history and anything under the weather about luxury watch brands and their models. Today we'll shine a light on the ever-evolving landscape of Swiss watches, from the classics that have stood the test of time to the daring innovations pushing the boundaries of what's possible. Without further ado, let's get into it. You see, we've all heard about the legendary Swiss Holy Trinity, and yes, they truly are exceptional. But as we explore the watchmaking landscape, we've stumbled upon some real gems from non-Swiss brands that have left us both excited and intrigued about the future of horology. Brands like Grand Seiko and Elang & Son have astonished us with their unparalleled craftsmanship and undeniable quality, putting them on par with the Swiss giants that we've revered for so long. The geography bias in various industries often places Switzerland at the epicenter of watchmaking, but history reveals that England and France were once watchmaking powerhouses, outsourcing parts globally, and even the Swiss began making fake watches. It's a fascinating journey from faking it to making it. As we venture across different countries, we discover unique watchmaking tales. From the passion-driven Helios in Canada, with its small batch releases, to other watchmakers creating horological marvels on a smaller scale, the world of watches opens up beautifully. This discovery has led us away from becoming watch snobs, focusing instead on the diverse and exciting world of watches regardless of their price tag. But that brings us to an intriguing question. Is Switzerland still the best watchmaking country? We believe best can mean many things. Value for money, precision, coolness factor, each brand bringing something special to the table. We've witnessed a remarkable shift from the traditional old guard of watchmaking, like Vacheron Constantine and Audemars Piguet, to lesser-known Swiss brands that have emerged seemingly out of nowhere. Brands like Jean and Moza have caught the attention of collectors, making them realize that centuries of history might not be the sole measure of watchmaking excellence anymore. Instead, enthusiasts are now turning their attention to brands from all around the world. Sure, you might be familiar with names like Elang and Son and Grand Seiko, who have earned their rightful place with time. But there's also a newfound appreciation for recently discovered brands like Moritz Grossman and Kikuno, Kurono Tokyo, along with fresh watchmakers like Felipe Pikulik. These brands may not have the extensive historical background, but they aim for the best in quality and complication. Take Maurice Grossman, for example. You can put it side by side with a prestigious Swiss brand, and in terms of quality, it stands tall all day long. The concept of better watchmaking is being redefined. Roger W. Smith, a watchmaking legend, proves that exceptional craftsmanship can exist beyond Swiss boundaries. His watches rival, and in some opinions, even surpass high-end Swiss brands like Tudor or Rolex. As we discuss the pinnacle of watchmaking quality, we must acknowledge that Switzerland now faces some serious competition. Brands from various corners of the globe are striving to push the boundaries of horological excellence. As we delve deeper into this topic, we begin to unravel the exceptional attention to detail exhibited by non-Swiss watchmakers, resulting in the creation of truly remarkable timepieces. Countries such as Germany and Japan, known for their cultural dedication to meticulous craftsmanship, shine brightly in the realm of watchmaking, producing watches that epitomize perfection. Among these countries, the Japanese are renowned for their unwavering obsession with detail, leading to the production of watches that leave no room for compromise. One notable example of this dedication is the awe-inspiring Grand Seiko. Each timepiece crafted by this brand exudes a palpable sense of meticulousness and passion, making them feel like true labors of love. 
The artisans behind these masterpieces invest years into developing the movements, underscoring their commitment to delivering nothing but excellence. In contrast, we observe that certain Swiss brands might sometimes lack the same emotional connection with their customers. Non-Swiss brands like Kudoki or Moritz Grossman, on the other hand, leave an indelible mark on the hearts of their owners. The attention to detail and painstaking effort put into creating each watch engender a profound sense of appreciation and connection with the timepiece. This personal journey shared with a watchmaker is often absent in mass-produced Swiss watches, making the experience with non-Swiss brands all the more cherished. A prime example of this unique connection is found in the duo behind Kudoke, Stefan and Christine. Their craftsmanship shines in the K2 model, featuring a hand-engraved day-night indicator that exemplifies their passion to the art of watchmaking. Owning such a watch becomes a testament to the shared passion between the watchmaker and the wearer, forging an intimate bond that transcends the mere concept of a timekeeping device. The dedication of non-Swiss watchmakers extends even to the smallest details, exemplified by Stefan's meticulous skeletonization work in Kudoki timepieces and the artistic prowess displayed in Moritz Grossman's creations. These masterful touches further differentiate them from their Swiss counterparts and add to the overall allure of their timepieces. Additionally, the commitment to customer satisfaction in non-Swiss brands often translates into greater affordability and value for collectors. Despite offering intricate details and unparalleled craftsmanship comparable to high-end Swiss brands, the non-Swiss watches often come at a fraction of the price, making them an enticing option for discerning enthusiasts. Now let's talk about the exceptional customer experiences offered by recognizable non-Swiss watch brands, particularly in terms of watch acquisition and after-sales concerns. While some Swiss brands may rely on highly automated and impersonal processes, non-Swiss watchmakers take a different approach. Many non-Swiss brands place tremendous emphasis on the personal touch, creating a unique and unforgettable buying experience. This customer-centric approach is often reflected in the meticulous craftsmanship of their timepieces. Consider Grand Seiko, a standout example of a non-Swiss brand that has managed to strike a perfect balance between being part of the Seiko group, yet maintaining a sense of exclusivity and a close-knit community. Their watches are indeed top tier, but it's also the sense of passion and connection with your customers that makes the Grand Seiko experience truly special. The attention to detail and the personal care are qualities found in many non-Swiss watchmakers. Brands like F.V. Jean, Kodoke and Maurice Grossman provide customers with an intimate experience, making them feel like they're a part of a passionate horological journey. It's more than just purchasing a watch, it's becoming a part of the brand's story. Unlike some mass-produced Swiss watches, non-Swiss brands often engage with their customers on a deeper level, creating a genuine bond. Owning a timepiece from one of these brands feels like being a part of a special community where the watchmaker's heart and soul are evident in every detail. However, as recognizable non-Swiss brands gain popularity, some may wonder if they'll lose their exclusivity. Yet, we believe that as long as these brands stay true to their principles and maintain the exceptional quality that makes them unique, their allure will endure. It's evident that the world of watches is undergoing a thrilling revolution. Recognizable Swiss brands, revered for centuries, remain as exceptional as ever, continuing to produce masterpieces that captivate watch enthusiasts worldwide. However, the landscape is evolving, and non-Swiss watchmakers are stepping up their game like never before. Brands such as Grand Seiko and Elang and Son have emerged as true contenders, rising in popularity, demand and horological advancement. These brands have shattered stereotypes, proving that greatness in watchmaking can extend beyond Swiss borders. With a keen focus on customer experience, meticulous attention to detail, and an unwavering commitment to quality, non-Swiss watchmakers have carved their niche in the watch market. Their timepieces are not just products, but an emotional journey, connecting customers with the artisans' passion and dedication. As watch enthusiasts, we're witnessing a new era unfold before our eyes, where excellence knows no boundaries. So whether you find yourself drawn to the timeless traditions of Swiss watchmaking or the innovative prowess of non-Swiss brands, one thing is certain, the world of watches is more dynamic and exciting than ever. In this ever-evolving landscape, let's embrace the horological revolution and celebrate the incredible achievements of both Swiss and non-Swiss watchmakers. Until next time, remember that the beauty of watchmaking lies not only in the brands' names, but in the passion, 
craftsmanship and artistry that bring these timepieces to life. Happy horological exploration and may you find the perfect watch to accompany you on your extraordinary journey through time. Want to hear more about watches? Hit the subscribe button below to support the Steady Ticker channel and click the notification bell to instantly know about our new videos on luxury watches. See you in the next one.